Section 29 of the Works of Edgar Allan Poe, Raven Edition, Volume 5. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Titus E. Garnett. To Marie Louise Show. Part 2 by Edgar Allan Poe. Not long ago, the writer of these lines in the mad pride of intellectuality maintained the power of words, denied that ever a thought arose within the human brain beyond the utterance of the human tongue. And now, as if in mockery of that boast, two words, two foreign softest syllables, Italian tones made only to be murmured by angels dreaming in the moonlit dew, that hang like chains of pearls on Hermon Hill, have stirred from out of the abyss of his heart, unthought like thoughts that are in the souls of thoughts, richer, far wider, far diviner visions, that even the seraph harper Israfel, who has the sweetest voice of all God's creatures, could hope to utter. And I, my spells are broken, the pen falls powerless from my shivering hand, with thy dear name as text, though bitten by thee, I cannot write, I cannot speak or think, at last I cannot feel, for tis not feeling, this standing motionless upon the golden threshold of the wide open gate of dreams, gazing in trance adown the gorgeous vistas, and thrilling as I see upon the right, upon the left, and all the way along, amid purple vapors far away to where the prospects terminate thee only. End of section 29. Recording by Titus E. Garnett.